Welcome to Essentials Explained. In this video, we'll be discussing how to utilize a multi-criteria sum-ifs in conjunction with the indirect formula. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. So what we're gonna do is recreate this sum ifs output. So I'm just gonna control drag, we'll create a copy of that sheet. You can also do right click, move or copy, create a copy is another way to do that. I find control drag is a little bit faster, but use whatever you'd like. I'm gonna use the indirect method here. So I will just delete all these rows and now I have this indirect formula already set up for my sum ifs. I'll rewrite it for you just in case you missed that video on sum ifs and indirect. But in case you are curious, that is the method we are going to use. So first thing I'm going to do is go in here and actually just grab my franchisee types or my customer types and just paste them in the bottom. I find this is a helpful little ref reference to have and is helpful as you're building your sheet. So the first one we want is corporate. So I'm just going to copy this up here. I'll do underline italics. I think that looks good. And then maybe I'll actually just indent these. So you can either go home indent or I think the shortcut for that is um, Alt H6 will indent your sheets. I think that, that looks a little bit better just to give yourself some differentiation between the customer type and the pink color. So let's write this sum ifs. So sum ifs, what is our sum range? It's going to be indirect of the sum range, lock that in its row. What is our criteria range? It is an indirect of the range pink color locked in its row. The criteria will be red paint locked in its column. Our criteria range two is an indirect of our year locked in its row. Our criteria range two is our year locked in its row. And okay, that is exactly the same. Nothing has changed. That's perfect. So what do we want to do? Now what we actually want to add in is our ownership category. So if I just copy this down, what I can do is just add a criteria range three, and this is ownership category. Again, we need to use underscores instead of spaces here. And if, if I didn't know that, like let's say for instance, I didn't know this field is called ownership category, what I could do is just do equals, and this will pull up the different named ranges in my file. So owner, ownership category, or you can go up here, formulas, name manager, and just find the name in here, right? Ownership category, which refers to a certain range. So what I need to do is add a third criteria range here. So what I'll do is indirect and select the cell, lock it in its row, and then my, oops, my criteria three will be this top category or my ownership category. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna link it out here and I'll explain why in a second and just lock that in its column and hit okay. There's nothing there right now, but what I'll just do is I'll link this to corporate, hit F4, drag that down. And then if I could just hit equals, I can paste these formulas and they'll pretty easily update. If you wanna check your numbers, you can go here minus the revenue in our customer tab. And that seems to all be working correctly. Great. I don't think we have quantity, otherwise we could check that, but if you're really nervous about it, what you could do is just come in here, copy this formula and remove the pink color category, right? So that's our first criteria range. So if I just come in here and I select this first section and delete it, and then at the end put minus this sum, that should give me a zero, right? So what I'm just doing, and I'll pull up the value of the formula is I'm doing an indirect on this sum range and then subtracting my quantity from this table. Great, everything ties. This is wrapped out, but that's fine. We don't just want this for our corporate section, right? We want it for all of our different customer types, so small and large franchisees. I'll insert a few rows here and then just drag this down just to show our area. I'm gonna make this a group so I can hide it. So rows, Alt H will hide that. And then if you come up here, what you can do is just copy this whole section. So I'm just gonna copy the rows and just paste them in row 17. And if I go here and put large franchisee, that won't update. And why, why is that? It's because these are all absolute references. So if I highlight these, control H, what I can do is find a dollar sign and replace it with nothing. 
And then this is still linked correctly, right? All these are still hidden B9. But if I copy this and paste it down, all these cell references will update to B17. And so really, really helpful way to have a lookup that you don't need to constantly be updating, right? So if I copied this section down, let's say I pasted it, um, maybe actually what I wanna do is I wanna include that check just cause I think it's helpful. If I wanted to paste this here and maybe paste one below, now what I could do is I could just change this to, or what I'll actually just do is copy this, paste in values, and then I'll copy this, paste in values. And now what we can do is update our checks. So does this minus our large franchisee, that looks right. Does this equal our small franchisees, looks good. And our quantity check is actually still working, right? Because it's doing the same lookup that our main section is. And so that's great. So we built that in a highly repeatable, really easy way. What I could do is I could just hide these checks if we don't want to show them, maybe make this a little bit smaller. Or the one thing you might actually want to do is add a total at the bottom. So if I maybe insert a few more rows, what I could do is just drag this down. And then maybe what you want to do is, is just have a copy of and have a total just so you can see, because often what you're going to want to see is, okay, it's, it's helpful to see these trends, but then being able to view the product category trends in the same page is usually pretty helpful. This formula obviously won't work. So two different ways to do this. One, what you could do is you could just remove this last part of the formula, right? And hit equals and then paste formulas, copy, paste. And then I could do a really, really easy check where I just say equals minus sum of one, two, three. And then I can drag that over, drag that down to make sure every single one of my cells really works. And that would be one way to do it, right? I can do the same thing for quantity. Price obviously won't work, but I could just do check and just put an italic and maybe I just drag that down. That's one way to do it. I think that's a pretty easy way to do it. The other way you could do it is do it actually with the sum ifs and do sum ifs of this range locked in its rows, the criteria range will be this range locked in place. And then your criteria is your pink color locked in its column. And so I could copy that, I could paste formulas and that would give me the same exact thing. Two different ways to do it. However you find is probably the easier way. Obviously this will always tie as you're summing on your table, but two different ways to do it depending on your preference. So we've gone through a lot of this. I'll just make this a little bit smaller. Here's just a different way to use some ifs to look at cross sections of your product and customer data. One little bonus tip here that I think is actually really, really helpful is using this evaluate formula tool. So if you go up here to formulas and click on evaluate formula, it'll pull up this nice little box that will let you walk through your formula. So what have we done in this first cell? So cell C10, we have, taking an indirect of cell C49, which is the named range revenue, which is equivalent to this range, working data E3 through E1218. And then our first criteria range is an indirect of the name range paint color, which needs to be equivalent to red paint. And then an indirect of the name range year, which needs to be equivalent to 2020. And then an indirect of the name range ownership category, which is needs to be equivalent to corporate. And that sum ifs returns $22,084. That is a very, very helpful way to understand where your formula may be breaking. So for instance, if I were to come down here and maybe change this to ownership category and I get all these refs, what I could do is I could either go up here, formulas evaluate or alt M V will do that same thing for you. And if you hit evaluate, okay, that's working pink color. That's working year that's working indirect of ownership category ref right so it's really easy for me to figure out where i might be getting refs so i can just come back down here and change that that's a pretty simple way especially if you're trying to figure out where issues might be happening in your formulas the other helpful way is if you have someone else's file you're trying to figure out how it works 
another helpful way to do that. Would highly recommend utilizing this evaluate formula tool. It's very, very helpful and will really help you break down where your formula is breaking and let you identify and isolate where the issue arose. Last thing I'll do is just some real quick cleanup here, ownership category, I'll just call this, right? If I make this bold underline, I can just copy this, put a border around, control shift seven, that looks fine. My checks, maybe I wanna you know, make these all italic. I can put these in a group if I wanna hide them and then alt H will hide them. If I wanna you know, maybe make this, I'll say um, named references and then I can just drag this bottom border control one will give me my format cells and I can just put some kind of bottom border on there. I think it looks pretty good. Great. Make that, you know, bold italic. You can just delete these. And I think that looks pretty good, right? We have our sheet. Maybe we just want to change this to uh, customer type, or maybe it's just actually call this franchisee type to be consistent and paint color. So now our title's updated. We have all of our different sum ifs. Our average selling price formula is still working. doesn't need to be updated. And everything's on this nice little table. If you're interested in learning more best practices for working quickly in Excel, please check out the next video in our series. Otherwise, thank you for joining us at Essentials Explained. And please comment any questions or feedback you have below.